after porting several ITR manifolds, here we have a B16A P30 stock intake manifold. The stock one from a B16A is already port matched to 70 millimeter throttle. We're gonna cut it open, port it with you guys. Here we are, even showing you how we cut it. Yes, with the air saw. Got it all good now. Yep, and open it up and show you the unported intake manifold before we start. And then we go with the carbide first, of course, take you on step by step. And we also check the rotor length and calculate the second harmonic, which the power band helps. Yes, that's for you. get to it right away here's the p30 manifold we're going to draw a line there across the plenum so we can have a guide when we cut it open it's already port matched to 70 millimeter throttle body that's what the sir is running and here all the way to the back of the plenum we scribe a line this way we have a guide when we try to saw it open or cut it open yep yes sir all right here's the line now See, we just use the uh, an ink or a pen just to line it, you know, just to show you, just to show us where we're cutting. This way, it's going to be straight and not always crooked. Here and also, we make a turn there to cut open the plenum. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now let's go to the vise near the by the pointing bench and we cut it up. Yes, we still use the lubricant that we use, which is 50% ethyl alcohol and 50% soapy water, or in this case, a Joy dishwashing soap. That's what we use. We used to go higher in the ethyl, ethyl mix, but it dries up too quick because it's still warm here. It's still summer, or it's not, you know, it's getting rainy, but it's still hot. Here we are on the workbench now, because we're done cutting it. Let's open it up. Let me show you guys the stock intake manifold is unported. Mine is gonna be a bit dirty because there's like carbon buildup. Here you go. And some debris because we actually saw this off. Yes, there it is. Wait, let me unclip the phone. Let me show, show you closer. Here, let me sh show you. Yeah, so now we're gonna try to open up the runner entry. This one is gonna be mimicking a velocity stack to gain airspeed. Okay, now let's go to the parking bench. Okay, sorry, the phone fell from the clip. It, it, it kind of looked like it was a transition, but it actually fell. So we're spraying with WD-40 for now because there's a bit of carbon, so, so that it doesn't smidge around. You know, we just carve it with a carbide cleanly. So we start with a carbide. And yes, we time lapse so it doesn't get too boring. We start with the opening. This is this is how I do it because it gives me a guide of how the entry is gonna be before we start working on the runners. You can do it any other way, but this is what's consistent for me, so this is what works for me. There you go. Okay, let me unclip the phone. Let me show you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir starting the opening up you know now we continue for the rest of the runners we're gonna port like the first two or three inches into the runner so that we can get a consistent taper yes that's good and later we're gonna show you how we get it all consistent with the cross-sectional area the opening of each runner we'll show you that later okay now here we you make another pass so we just, we're, st we're still feeling the bumps and ridges so we're trying to smooth it out even especially the side walls of the runner because that's where the transition is before we continue if you're liking the video i need a big favor from you guys hit the like button the more likes it gets the more activity it shows to the algorithm so it'll spread out the wider audience and that helps the channel way way more so hey i need a favor guys hit the like button will you and subscribe if you haven't this way you can check out all the other videos in your own time whenever you check youtube you're already subscribed you're gonna check all that you're gonna be part of the community yes and of course with the subscribe with the subscribers the members only is also good it has a lot of hardcore videos like this and this 
and many more. It has over 18 videos that's hardcore about tuning and everything that you need to know that we don't generally talk about in public. So, yep, that one is for the hardcore guys, all right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, now we go with Itty Grit. Here we go. We spray a bit of lube just to get it all good. As, I, as you can see, it's starting to get the shape good and starting to look cleaner because of course it's, it's bare aluminum that's clean. No more carbon buildup. Yes, and another one. Runner number one is next. Spray there. Yes, it's looking good, looking good. Let's go one more pass because I'm still not yet satisfied of how it is. I can actually feel it, so it needs more passes until it gets, you know, a lot more consistent. Now it's, really getting a, now it's getting a little bit more consistent. It's getting good, yes. All right. And of course, we've gotten deeper. Like, this is about three inches now, deep into the runner. Yes. Okay, that's good. Let's, let me show you close. Oh yeah, this is starting to look really, really nice. Really good, actually. Yep, let's wash it up and let me show you on the workbench so it's cleaner. Here it is now. We actually cleaned it up to remove all the carbon with the degreaser, so it's still there's still a bit of carbon, but it's all cleaner. Yes, now we're gonna open it up a bit more. And here, on the side, we can check the length. You remember, we have the old video that we checked the length and calculated it. So we're going to do it again to show you guys. All right. We're going to do that later. All right. Now here, of course, look at it close. Yes, we're going to contour it even better to form like a velocity stack to make it look like it. Yep. Onto the parting bench again. Now this is still 80 grit. We're still going. Get more passes so it's still good as you can see the more passes we do the 80 grit the more consistent it is we start losing the ridges or the bumps so that's really good that's really good for flow because it, flow doesn't really have eyes you know but if you can feel it with your hands definitely airflow feels it all right here let me show you closer oh yeah now this is starting to look really really good Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, one more. Let's continue. Now it's 120 grit because, you know, we got it all consistent with the 80 grit. So now we move to 120 grit. As you can see, as you can see also, we're like moving it faster. Well, you know, you can see in the time lapse, it got even faster. But that's because we can actually feel if it's there's bumps or ridges if you move it faster with the 120 grit. So that's really good. That helps. But it's hard to jump right straight to 120 grit from the carbide, so we always go 80 first. Here, let me show you. Oh yes, now that's looking really, really good. So you can see inside, we can go through and through. We, oh, we actually started porting a bit from the flange side, so you can see it's through and through. But we're going to leave one inch on the flange. This way we can port match it to the head when it's ready. Let me show you this side. Because we're going to be using it this on the B20 VTEC. So when the head is ready, we're going to port match this so it's perfect. Yes, you can see it through and through. So when we port match, this is going to be on the other video. Yep. So now let's continue some more. And we'll continue a bit more with 120 grit. We started to flare up the entries. So that's all smooth and like a velocity stack. As you can see now, the thin is starting to be even more consistent, right? Let me unclip the phone and show you guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more and this is all good, it's all done. So just a few more touches and it's good. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, those are velocity stacks. So, yep, after a few more passes on this, we're going to wash it up with soap. Yes, and go back to the workbench. Here it is now. Would you look at that? Oh, yeah, it's all good. All finished up. Now it's got to be ready to be welded and it's going to be more efficient. Yeah. 
Now here, you can see through and through, it's all good. Yep, wait, let me turn this. Oh, look at that, runner number four, or number one. It looks like a velocity stack, yeah. So we know this is gonna pack really, really good air speed. It's gonna be more efficient. It's gonna fill the cylinder or the chambers with good combustion. It's gonna be more power and of course, efficiently. Yes, and look, let's look at the flange side here. And look at that, it's ported through and through. We we'll always leave the last inch before the flange untouched. This way we can actually port match this to the head really well when the head is done or whichever head we decide to use. But since this is going to be 20 feet tag, it's gonna be good when the head is ready. So now here, let's check out the runner length. As we use this hose that we did for measuring, it's crude, but it's quite accurate. It's pretty good. Yep, there you go. And when we checked, this is about nine inches. So the port length is 3.5. So nine plus 3.5 is 12.5 inches. So 12.5 inches total runner length. So to calculate that, look, third harmonic, that's a boost in 7,000 to 8,000 RPM. That's perfect for a street car or a track car, right? And here, the dyno sheet that we did decades ago, or at least 2016 or 17, this B16 had an ITR manifold. I wanted the P30, but the customer wanted the ITR. But look, this would have boosted that area perfectly. This is the rare moment that customer isn't always right. He wanted an ITR manifold just because it's cool looking on a B series. But I wanted the P30 because I calculated this and this would have been perfect. So now we know we're going to take advantage of this on this B20 VTEC to make good grunt torque and power. This is going to be a fun track day car. Yes, this is going to be used for a street with sometimes track day use car. And here's what we use to make sure it's consistent on the opening cross section. We have a video of it at the members only section with all the good details. We have that video. And this, and of course, we can degree a 402 cams and actually dyno the same engine that we degreed, talk about tuning, the change that we do, and how we got more power. So that's a really good video on the members only section. That's for the hardcore guys if you want, all right? Yep. So you can check all this. Yes, the manifold is looking really good now. Wait, let's put, put it back facing this way. Yes. Now we drop in, the, let's put the plenum top. This way it's going to be ready for welding. And of course, if you want to guys to finish, see the finished welded stuff, of course, because we're done porting with this, this is okay now. But for the finished welded stuff, you got to click on the video on the end screen over for the B20 VTEC series, the build series that we're doing, because we're going to show this, how you, we, we port match accurately or perfectly the head to the manifold or the manifold to the head. Yes, we share those tips and tricks. So of course you want all the good tech stuff. Yes, you know it. You gotta click it right over here.